Welcome to the Cinema Gold Show. I'm your host, Larry Lees. Today we're diving into the latest box office numbers from the weekend. But first, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Pondex, for sponsoring this episode. What is Pondex, you ask? It's a great question. Pondex are the hottest new tool for podcasters looking to have more meaningful conversations or gamify their podcast. Simply shuffle up, ask a question, and let the content roll. You can get yours today at pondex.com. You can use the promo code Larry21 for 10% off your order. That promo code is Larry21. You can get 10% off your order. Well, the not surprising news is Jackass Forever wins the weekend box office with $23.5 million haul. Johnny Knoxville and the gang are getting the last laugh with the number one spot of the box office with its opening weekend. Jackass Forever is a box office success. The new movie, which is the fourth installment of the Jackass movies, will be wrapping up its box office haul for the weekend with $23.5 million pulled in domestically. This puts the comedy sequel solidly in the number one spot, so Johnny Knoxville and his fellow Daredevils will have a lot to smile about, even if the filmmakers have been dealing with behind-the-scenes controversies. It pulled in another $5.2 million internationally for a total haul of $28.7 million. The movie stars Johnny Knoxville, Steve-O, Dave England, Wee Man, Preston Lacey, Zach Holmes, and Rachel Wolfson. While Knoxville has now retired from doing any more dangerous stunts after suffering significant injuries filming Jackass Forever, he has teased that more movies are still possible with the new cast members. Reigns be, remains to be seen if that will happen, but the strong box office performance along with the positive reviews the help Jackass 5's odds of happening happen. Roland Emmerich's sci-fi disaster film Moonfall suffered a massive blow over the weekend by pulling in less than $10.5 million in North America. With a reported budget of $138 million, the film comes up far short of studio expectations. Garnering a 40% score at Rotten Tomatoes, the movie stars Halle Berry, Patrick Wilson, John Bradley, Michael Pena, Charlie Plummer, Kelly Yu, Donald Sutherland. In the film, the world is on the brink of annihilation when a mysterious force knocks the moon from its orbit and sends it hurtling towards Earth, leaving it up to a NASA executive and a conspiracy theorist to save humanity. But on a lighter note, Spider-Man No Way Home is still going strong. The heavy hitter, Spider-Man No Way Home, is still web slinging its way along towards the top of the list by nabbing the number three spot. Its 9.6 million haul puts an ongoing total of 748.9 million, just short of the original box office run achieved by Avatar's total of 749.8 million. Spider-Man No Way Home is at 1.77 billion overall when factoring in overseas profits that number continues to climb as the record-setting sequel solidifies its status as one of cinema history's most successful films. The horror sequel Scream grabbed 4.7 for a total haul of 68.9 million, putting it at the number four spot. At number five is the animated sequel Sing 2, followed with 4.2 million domestically, adding to its worldwide total haul so far of 291.5 million. The rest of the films making up the ton Top 10 at the domestic box office are The Kingsman, Redeeming Love, American Underdog, The Kurt Warner Story, The 355, and Licorice Pizza. We got our box office data from The Numbers, which you can visit at the-numbers.com. But uh, The Kingsman came in at number 6 with 1.1 million. Redeeming Love came in at 7 at 1 million. American Underdog came in at 8 at 800,000. Um, number nine was 355 at 700,000. And to round out the top 10 is Licorice Pizza with 615,000. Let us know your thoughts on the latest box office numbers. Are you surprised that Jackass Forever took the number one spot? I'm not too surprised just because it didn't really have that much competition. I mean, from the trailers I saw, Moonfall didn't look that great like it wasn't really going to draw a massive crowd but i would and i'm not surprised i guess that they did only bring in 10 million or less than 10 million i should say but let us know in the comment section below and hey don't forget we have merch now 
You can check the link in the description for our store. Go buy yourself a Cinema Gold t-shirt. And if you want to support the show, you can buy us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash cinema gold. Your support will help the channel grow, upgrade our equipment, um, hire some hosts, hire new writers, and hopefully take this show on the road eventually. 